All right, hey everyone. Today we are talking about the DJI wireless mic. And basically I wanna highlight some of the observations that I made since I own this microphone. Okay, so first of all, as you might know, uh, it took quite a while for DJI to ship out these microphones due to the global situation. And I was pretty happy when I got the chance to actually pick one of these up. But I noticed quite a few things that I wanna just quickly highlight in this video. You're obviously currently listening to the DJI wireless microphone. It is also pretty windy today out here, so... Yeah. Okay, so the first thing that I noticed when I watched a bunch of reviews from YouTubers that obviously had uh, early access to the microphone, that things have changed a little bit. And first of all, it is this pouch that comes with the DJI wireless mic. This one has a significantly lower quality or is at least not as cool as uh, the one that I saw in the video that I just mentioned. This is basically just a pouch that is divided in, in the middle here but there's really nothing to it. It's just this little bag here. And I personally would probably not pick that up too often to carry that thing around because I mean, this is good enough, I believe. Okay, so the next thing that I noticed is that the cable that comes with the DJI wireless mic is also different from the one that these YouTubers had. This is basically kind of a wire and it doesn't quite work well if you have the receiver mounted facing towards you because usually the mic input is located somewhere else on the camera so you have to kind of bend that and that didn't work for me at all with this cable so I'm actually currently using the cable that came with the Rode VideoMic NTG which is way longer and more flexible. I mean, look at that length of that cable. Okay, and now it is where things uh, get a little more interesting because I was not able at all to get the same sound quality from this microphone compared to the videos that I watched. Okay, so DJI has obviously uh, switched out some of the components like the bag and the cable, but could it be that they have also switched out the actual microphones? I'm not saying that I'm actually believing that, but I just noticed that I couldn't get the same sound quality as a bunch of other people and I actually looked up a bunch of comments and loads of people are reporting the exact same thing. For me at least um, the microphone sounded extremely muffled and even after editing it quite a little bit I was not 100% happy with the end result. Okay so then I noticed after tweaking the submitter and receiver settings a little bit and playing around with uh, different in-body camera audio values things actually got quite a little bit better. So this is what we're going to do next. We're going to see how the microphone performs with different levels set in the camera for the receiver for the transmitter and so on okay so this is what we've been working with so far the audio level in the cve10 is set to 5 of a possible 31 while the values in the transmitter and the receiver are both uh, boosted by 10 decibels. That's also something I noticed. I haven't seen a lot of other YouTubers do that and they didn't have to boost uh, values that much. But this is at least what I had to do in my test that I did earlier to get a reasonable result. Okay, so let's switch things up a little bit. Test, test. Okay, so right now it is only the transmitter that is boosted by plus 10 decibels. And of course I will have all audio tracks um, leveled. So this should kind of be a fair comparison. Okay, so now the receiver is at plus 10 and the actual transmitter is at zero. The CV10 is still at five. So how does that sound? Is that any better? Is it worse? I don't know. Let's have a look at the area for a moment. I'll be hiking around here and talk to you guys with the setting for a little bit. And in just a second, we're gonna boost the audio level in the CVE-10 and have both the transmitter and receiver sitting at zero. Now the audio settings are as follows. CVE-10 is sitting at 15 from a possible 31. And both the transmitter and the receiver of the DJI mic are sitting at zero decibels. I'm gonna hike around, talk to you for a little bit so we can see if that makes any difference. Actually, here is another way to record audio with the DJI wireless mic. So there's a record button right here. So you don't actually have to have it um, plugged in or connected to the um, receiver that is plugged into your camera. You can just record it right into this little device. And is that any better? Again, I've only leveled the audio values across all tracks to kind of make it an even playing field. But that is, again, the sound from this little device.
Test, test. Okay, so we are now back at the initial settings. Again, this is of course not a full review on the DJI mic. These are just a few things that I noticed. Overall, I'm actually super happy with the microphone because as you can see, I can walk around and still be talking to you guys. And earlier with the video mic NTG that I had, I had to always be very close to the camera. Okay, so I think that wraps it up quite nicely for this short little video. I just wanted, as I said, make a video about these observations. If you figured out the best settings for the DJI wireless mic please let me know down below in the comments because i would love to hear them but i think that is it i will enjoy walking around here in this beautiful place well and that is it for today guys if you want to pick up the dji mic i will have a link for you down below in the video description also if you found this video helpful give it a thumbs up and if you're new here consider subscribing thank you so much for watching and i see you in the next one so what do you think you're gonna pick one up Use the link in the video description. All right, and we are now back in the studio. The reason why I keep the audio levels in the camera rather on the lower end and boost the transmitter and receiver is because it gives me a cleaner audio and picks up the higher frequencies a bit better. The downside of that is that it also picks up more of the background noise and you could hear that pretty clearly when I was walking through the forest because it picked up all of the footsteps. But if I had boosted the audio levels in the camera and kept the transmitter and receiver at say zero decibels, the audio would have been a lot more muffled. So it is basically a little bit of a personal choice, but generally speaking, I would suggest to keep the uh, in-body camera audio levels rather on the lower 50% and then boost the transmitter and receiver accordingly until you get a result that works fine for you. Actually, let me move that aside because we are still listening to the DJI wireless microphone and the settings are currently as follows. I have boosted the transmitter and receiver by plus five decibels and the in-body audio of the CVE-10 is sitting at 10 from a possible 31. Well, and that is basically it for this video. I would love to hear from you how you've set up your DJI wireless mic down below in the comments. Also, if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and if you're new here, consider subscribing. That is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching and I see you in the next one.